Remember that how to make videos video I made where a tip I shared was to get straight to the point of your video. Well, let's do it. Yes, the Fuji X-T3 does indeed have touchscreen. Let's take a moment to look at my swipe settings. I can swipe left to turn zebras on and I can swipe again to change the line direction. Then swipe once more to turn zebras off. I swipe down to show high speed recording options. Then I swipe right to turn on the RGB histogram. Finally, I swipe up to turn off Bluetooth, then swipe again to turn it back on. Another thing you can do is touch to focus and touch to take a picture. Those settings actually answer the next question. Does the Fujifilm X-T3 have Bluetooth? If it wasn't clear already, then it will be clear now. Yes, good old Wi-Fi, or some people like to call it Wi-Fi. You got Wi-Fi. To download images or control the camera remotely, you will need to download an app called Fujifilm Camera Remote. Since my phone is already paired with my camera, I'll show you what I do if I want to enable live view on my phone. Once I turn my camera on, I select live view shooting on the camera remote app. It will take a few seconds to connect. Then on my camera, I will be prompted with the message to join the Fujifilm Wi-Fi network on my phone. I press OK. Then on my phone, I tap to join the wireless network. I wait for another prompt on the camera to transmit the data. I press OK. And then I'm able to have live view on my phone. You can see how laggy this is when using this app. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Now for the question that you've been waiting for. Does the Fujifilm X-T3 have in-body image stabilization? The answer is no. But wait, let me show you an example with the 18 to 55 millimeter OIS F2.8 to 4. This is with no IBIS, but iOS is turned on on the lens. Now let's see what no IBIS and iOS turn off on the lens looks like. Do whatever you like with that information. I'm just gonna dance.